You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my reaction to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Now, before we get into this reaction, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. So, we are back with the fourth film in the Harry Potter franchise, and officially, this will all be 100% brand new material to me. Starting here with The Goblet of Fire, this fourth film, I have never watched any of them. <laughs> I had seen one, two, and three, like, once in my life, although clearly I didn't really recollect any of the big moments of those three films. I had watched them, so they were somewhat of a movie commentary as much as they were a reaction, I suppose. But here we go. Starting with number four through the end of the series, I just have never watched them. I fell off the wagon, but I'm finally going to do it. We are finally getting into the climax of the entire series and getting through to the conclusion. Prisoner of Azkaban certainly took on a darker tone. We had Alfonso Cuaron on for literally one film. And now we are moving on to a different director yet again. <laughs> Looking on the Goblet of Fire. So it'll be interesting to see if the tone dramatically changes once more. Do we go back to the slightly lighter tone of those first two? Do we still get some horror elements like we did in Prisoner of Azkaban? And will we see any more malnourished werewolves or other fictional creatures? These are the questions I have. Plus, he was there by name, but the third film was also the first time we didn't actually see Voldemort make an appearance, though his little rat Pettigrew made an escape, and I'm assuming will, you know, help usher him back after a second knockout defeat. So let's go ahead and cut out this chit chat and jump into the Goblet of Fire. Uh oh, we're back to long. <laughs> we're back to that like 240 range. <laughs> okay, I would say we're we're starting dark still. So we're keeping that tone. The music, skulls, the whole thing. Oh. A snake. Okay. This series does love, like, pythons and anacondas, huh? I shouldn't be surprised. One of the main houses is Slytherin, so... Oh, we are really leaning, like, Halloween darkness, huh? Yes. Oh, here he is. Oh, there's the Pe Pettigrew. Pettigrew. Oh, who is that man? Oh. Oh, hello, Robert Pattinson. The king of the young adult adaptations, apparently. You must be Harry Potter. Ooh. I'll take the airplane, thank you. Much preferred. I bet that cleared your sinuses, eh? Well, kids, welcome to the Quidditch World Cup. Oh, the World Cup, huh? Home to be told. Hmm. Okay, you could have left me at home if this is the accommodations. Tell me next time before I leave the house, thank you. Oh, sir! <laughs> Please! Ooh, looks like I'm rooting for Team Bulgaria on this one! <laughs> I cry! <laughs> Wait, let me see. Let me see the real. 
Yeah, he's cute. We'll, we'll stick with you, Krem. We'll stick with you. To the final of the 422nd Quidditch World Cup. And by the look of it, you've been at each and every one of the matches, sir. Stop it. It's not the Irish. Who? We've got to get out of here. Now, who the hell is this? Has Voldemort struck again? I think it's disorienting for a reason. I think it's purposeful, but this cinematography right now is like giving me a headache. It's too much. Chill with the camera work and the cuts, please. Nope. Here we go, Harry. I gotta st stick with the group, Harry. Keep up now. You've been discovered at the scene of the crime. What the hell? They just can't what are you talking about, sir? Look at little Harry getting a crush. Who is this girl? Anything sweet for you, dear? He said her. That's what I want. That's the sweet I'm looking for. Okay, so we're back to the black, huh? Oh, Hedwig! <laughs> the best of owls. The best of owls. Who is this with these Pegasus? Pegasi? Pegasus? Get out with it, Filch. So, Hogwarts has Filch about to have a heart attack. He looks like he just got off the bed from a stroke. But the headmistress, Madame Maxine. Yes. Bloody hell. Ronald! See, we getting some some old thirsty bitches in this movie, huh? That's one big woman. If you don't shut your mouth, little boy, we don't tall shame women around here. And now our friends from the north, please greet Darts? the proud sons of Dumstrang. Oh. Sir, please, the floors. Why do we have an all female and an all male school? And then it's what, Hogwarts, the like middle ground, the co ed? Professor Dumbledore, my Not the Dumbledore! Way. They will need attending to. Don't worry, Madam Maxine. Sir Bartimus Crouch. Oh my. Sir, please, what is. That moody. Oh, he's a drunk. Sonny's drinking, do you suppose? I don't know, but I don't think it's pumpkin juice. That's for the children, Harry. You ain't got to drink pumpkin juice. Even the damn horses got the whiskey. Anyone wishing to submit themselves to the tournament need only write their name upon a piece of parchment and throw it in the flame before this hour on Thursday night. Now, why did Dumbledore pretty much just invite everyone to put their name in there when it literally was just stated 17 and up only? Ministry malcontent. Bringing new defense against the oh. arts teacher. I am here because Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Goodbye. The end. Any questions? Oh, what they're up against? You need to be prepared. Oh, you need my. to find another place to put your chewing gum besides the underside of your desk, Mr. Finnegan. I'm here <laughs> <laughs> this man is off his matter. Shall we see first? Weasley! Yes. Stand. <laughs> <laughs> the mad eye moody got me sh <laughs> too. Well. Completely harmless. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's all fun and laughter till that thing jumps on your head. She's lethal. Found herself? Oh. Oh. The killing curse. Only one person is known to have survived it. Harry Potter? He's sitting in this room. Mm hmm. Oh. 
Oh. What's wrong with this man? He just straight up tortured that damn creature and then killed her. Lord, it's time to... Moody, you gotta go. I don't know about you. That was too much. The reason those curses were unforgivable. To perform them in a classroom. I mean, did you see Neville's face? Get him, Hermione. I agree with you. Get him. Neville? We'll have a cup of tea. I want to show you something. He don't want to have no tea with you, sir. <laughs> he is traumatized. <laughs> oh. Not them screaming, put it in at Robert Pitt. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep it cute and keep it PG up in here. But you already know what I'm thinking. Glory. See this? This is an age line. Dumbledore drew it himself. Oh, okay. There you go. Ready? Yes! In a way. How old is this boy? He ain't no 17. Come on now. That is a grown ass man. 17. The champion selection. They're going to be our paths. Battinson, you up to bat here in the Harry Potter universe? The Dunstead champion is Victor Crabbe. Yeah. Clearly. The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory. Yeah. There it is. Now what is it, Mr. Snape? Oh. Mm -hmm. Does that piece of paper say Harry Potter? Mm hmm Harry Potter. <laughs> no. Harry Potter. Oh. Oh, he's angry. Ron, why you look like that? Oh. <laughs> he's always on your side, Harry. Yes, one of the oldest students to do it for you. Way beyond the talents of a fourth year. You seem to have given this a fair bit of thought, Mad Eye. Oh, it was my job to think as dark wizards do, Karkaroff. Perhaps you remember. The goblet of fire constitutes a binding magical contract. Oh. Mr. Potter has no choice. Voldemort said, Come on in, Harry. I might get that ass in the championship. How about that? Never mind. Doesn't matter. Might have let your best friend know, though. Let you know what? Oh, Ron is mad! I didn't ask for this to happen, Ron. Okay? You're being stupid. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. John Weasley, Harry Potter's stupid friend. Piss off. Oh! Oh, he mad man! Ron! <laughs> Go to bed, Ron. What's wrong with you? Oh, jealous ass. I'm Rita Skeeter. I Rita Skeeter? <laughs> but of course you know that, don't you? It's you. Mm. We don't know. What quirks lurk beneath those rosy cheeks? What mysteries do the muscles mask? Does courage lie beneath those curls? Oh, it's a broom cupboard. You should be right at home then. Don't mind if I use a quick quote to quell, do you? Oh, oh, oh. No. okay. Tell me, Harry. Meet me in the Gryffindor common room at one o'clock this Saturday night and make sure you're in. Oh, serious. P.S. Ah, the bird bites. I thought 
trap. <laughs> Oh my. I don't have much time, Harry, so let me get straight to it. Did you or did you not put your name into the Goblet of Fire? World Cup, your name rising from that goblet. These are not just coincidences. Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. I love how we keep saying Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. Literally, since I've been watching these films, Hogwarts hasn't been safe, so... In this tournament. I'm not ready for this, Sirius. Voices. Maybe you're imagining things. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh? Are we just practicing for your next interview, I expect? Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him that Dean was told by Pavati that <laughs> he's looking for you. Is that right? Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl! You kind of fooled me. <laughs> Hagrid, have you combed your hair? As a matter of fact, I have. You might let her try the same thing now and again. Oh! It said, let me go on ahead and read a child. See, that's this what I'm living for. I didn't know the Harry Potter films were so dang shady. They are seriously misunderstood creatures. I love to see dragons. Hey, listen, about the badges. I've asked them not to wear them. Don't worry about it. Why are they? You're a right foul git, you know that. Oh! I know so. Anything else? Yeah, stay away from me. Fine. Oh my. He thinks he won't last five. I don't give a damn what your father thinks, Mal. Oh, yes! He's vile and cruel. And you're just pathetic. Pathetic. Oop! I teach you to cuss someone when their back is turned. What, what are you doing? Teaching. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alistair! It doesn't end here! Alistair, we never <laughs> use transfiguration as a punishment. Surely well, up to David did. Okay, maybe I'd like the mad at Moody. <laughs> Maybe I was a little bit wrong. I just should be quick, sir. You know what, Harry? That's a fool. Well, Hagrid's fast. right. We gotta find invest in a brush. If magic can't do it, a good old fashioned comb is gonna have to do. But we gotta do something about this, her. What are you going to do about your dragon? Oh, I'll train it. Train the dragon. Ride the. Dragon. By your age, he could turn a whistle into a watch. <laughs> oh. Young this goddamn Skeeter. See, every time you name a character Skeeter, you know they are a troubled menace. What are you doing here, Miss Granger? Oh, um, sorry, I'll just <laughs> go. Party, the bag. Champion, what? circle around me. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute! I want one of those little dragons. Very real dragons. I want one. Golden egg to protect. Mr. Diggory, at the sound of the cannon, you. You see, Belch, you useless fool. Dick, 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 in the words of Daenerys Targaryen. Oh. Forward. Eyes forward. Ooh, the maintenance bill. Why 
why is this dragon crawling on the side and not just like flying right there and unleashing the flame? That's what I need to know. Ooh! Oh my! That poor dragon. I know everyone's like, do we leave? Is it over? Is Harry gone for good? <laughs> the paint. <laughs> Oh, now they all like it. Now it's not stinky Harry. Now it's hi Harry. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I will not have you in the course of a single evening besmirching that name by behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. Oh. Put your right hand on my waist. Oh. My waist. Oh. Oh, that's a nasty beast. I was right. You'll be the only one to like you without date. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a level. Well spotted. Can we go on? Oh. <laughs> Come on. It's one thing for a bloke to show up alone. For a girl, it's just sad. I oh? wouldn't be going alone because, believe it or not, someone's asked me. And I said yes. Oh. There's no alphabet mafia in any of these schools, I see. Hmm? Do it. So, maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. Oh, um. No. I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. Great. Mm. No problem. Poor kid. Bet she's alone in her room crying her eyes out. Who? Hermione, of course. <laughs> Why do you think she wouldn't tell us who she's coming with? Because, because you're nosy. She Ain't none your business. Should we have told you that? No. Oh, you're well known, you know. <laughs> oh. I can't have got you. May, you may proceed into the great hall with Miss Patil. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Oh, that stuff is even too old for Miss McGonagall now, Ron. You know it's bad. <laughs> oh. Oh, Harry gonna be salty. She looks beautiful. Oh, she's going with Crumb? She's living her best life. I take my waist. What? Ow. She's like, you ain't gonna embarrass me, Harry. Oh my gosh. Ooh, he's absolutely dreadful. She cares to join us. No, would not care to join you and Victor. Run! I think he's got a bit more than friendship on his mind. Ron is a brat. What is going on this movie? Yeah, walk away, Hermione. Ron acting a damn fool. Okay, she's like, let me go to my room. I'm out of here. Oh, buffoonish foolery. Off to bed. <laughs> Ron. This is two movies now Ron has done some real shady-ish to Hermione like that. Mm. I don't know. Ron acting too much for me this movie. I'm going to just say it like it is. Good for you, Neville. Do you know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? 
not a bad place for a bath. Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. Hmm. Oh, look at this weird ass water. Oh, oh my. Put it in the hot water. Long time, no see. Oh, my dog! <laughs> Nasty girl, you. Free key. Oh my. What's the matter with him? I don't know, I can't see him. <laughs> oh my god. They gave how to get away with the murder uh, a line. Oh my. I'd have been like this better wear off within an hour because Lord. Might have only female contestant gotta be the first one to go down. They petrify these two children. This is Harry's <laughs> mission is to save Ron and Hermione under the water. But he's my friend Tibby. Oh. Oh, he saved Hermione. Okay. Hmm. Oh, come on, Harry. The hell are those things? Oh, he just sacrificed himself for those two. Oh. Harry. <laughs> you saved her even though she wasn't yours to save. My little sister. Thank you. Mm. And you, you helped. Well, yeah, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ronald. Who? Reward him second place. Yes. Second place. Outstanding moral fiber. Yes. <laughs> well done, boy. See you, Hagrid's Harry. Yeah, keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on all of them. Your story is one I've heard so many times. We're not trying to lure Potter into one of the Ministry's summer internships, are we? Nope. The last boy who went into the Department of Mysteries never came out. What? That was very so weird. Mad. Harry, you know what that means when your little lightning bolt be itching up. Oh. Excuse me, me, You heard him. No, this conversation is no longer private. Uh oh, is this like a future telling device that Dumbledore was putting his thoughts into earlier? I was very much aware I've given evidence on this matter. Severus Snape was indeed a Death Eater. Oh. Prior to Lord Voldemort's downfall, turned spy for us at great personal Leave risk. Today's no more a Death Eater than I am. To the Dark Lord. Silence! Oh? The Crouch! Junior. Barty Crouch Junior. Hmm. 
Uh oh. Three drops of this, and you know who himself would spill his darkest secrets. The use of it on a student is regrettable, forbidden. However, <laughs> I haven't stolen anything. Don't lie to me. Oh. Gillyweed may be innocuous, but boom slang skin, lace swing flies. Oh. More poly juice. Who is the imposter? You see, people change in the maze. Oh. Oh, find the cup if you can, but be very wary. You could just lose yourselves along the way. Oh, my. On the count of three. One. Elch. If somebody don't take him away from the damn cannon. Okay. Oh, okay, maze runner. Run! The hell? Oh, okay. Well, there's the doppelganger. Or maybe not. Now, why is Flora always in trouble? She can't complete a task to save her life. Are you gonna help Harry, or are you gonna say F all this and grab the crown? You saved me, take it! Together! One, two, three! Aww. Oh. Where the hell did they go, though? Uh-oh, I see that riddle. Mm. Oh, we about to go into the house, I see. Uh-oh. No, baby, Voldemort! <laughs> <gasps> what the hell? <gasps> oh my. Willingly sacrificed. Ugh. Oh, it looked like pumpkin head. So they kind of looked like the werewolf we saw in the last film, to be honest. Oh. Ruthless. Not even you, Lucius. <gasps> oh my God. I have never renounced the old ways. Oh my. Such a handsome boy. Don't touch him. Mm. Harry, the boy who lived. How lies have fed your legend, Harry. No. Oh. Shall I reveal what really happened that night? Ago. Yes, reveal. How I truly yes. lost my power. Tell us. Things have changed. I can touch you now. Can you? Oh, my. Oh my, the dramatics. We've been taught how to duel, I presume, yes? I said, Oh! That's better. If they speak of you, they 
I'll speak only of how you begged for death, and I obliged. Get up! <laughs> oh! Oh, Harry, you wasn't ready for all this yet, boy. Come on now. Happening. Are these the souls that Voldemort killed? When the connection is broken, you must get to the port key. Take my body back, will you? Take my body back to my father. Oh. Oh. The spirit of the damn. Well, they're not really damned, but. Put the music out. Put the music out. Oh no. We still haven't figured out who was making that apologies potion though. In this one. What was it like? What was he like? Who? The Dark Lord. Ah. What was it like to stand in his presence? I, I don't know. It was like a oh, dream. here it is. Here's my answer, I suppose. Oh, he's been drinking poly juice. Obviously. Damn it. I don't think I said anything about a graveyard, Professor. Uh -oh. The blood that runs through these veins runs within the Dark Lord. Oh, you nasty. Master Moody, are you? No. Is he in this room? Nope. Is he in this room? How do you get away from there? Oh, that's what's in that damn thing. <laughs> Ooh, these transformations in these Harry Potter films are gnarly. <laughs> By Lord Voldemort. Oof. The Ministry of Magic does not wish me to tell you this. You have friends here. You're not alone. <laughs> Do you think we'll ever just have a quiet year at Hogwarts? No. I presume not. All right. Well, that was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And I have to say, that's kind of a tale of two halves, if you will. There was a lot of just romance stuff. <laughs> there was a lot of, like, teenage angsty romance in this film. A lot of coming of age in that sense. A little bit much for my own personal taste. I think we could have parsed some of that down some. But... I really liked the third act, the big finale. I thought actually was really fantastic. It looked stunning. Most of the visuals actually in this film looked amazing. Like the dragons looked so good. The entire wand fight obviously looked amazing. And the cinematography in the final act also looked really good. I'm glad Voldemort is back like in his form. So we don't have to see, like, baby Voldemort giving us them Pennywise and It Chapter 2 vibes. We don't have to see good old Gabriel Voldemort chilling on the back of somebody else's head. We don't have to do flashbacks to childhood Voldemort, known as Tom Riddle. I'm glad we just have Voldemort back. And, as we all knew, good old Lucius and that blonde locks working for him. Mm-hmm. Loki, I do hope Mad Eye Moody is as wild and out of control <laughs> as he 
as imposter moody because when he was running around acting a damn fool well low-key i liked it just a little bit just a little bit it was a very strange ending i think it was peaceful but some of that dialogue near the end uh was, was a little bit strange i thought but i guess that was a foretelling of what's to come. Everything is about to change, I would say, from this point forward. We've really unleashed the evil. For real, for real, this time. Finally. So, that was my react. So, that was my reaction to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below, and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. What did you think of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Let me know either in the comment section down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Mwah! Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye!